Hi, it's Paul Pistino again. I'm here at AES, the Sony Pro Audio booth, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about some of our professional studio microphones. Sony has been building microphones for a very, very long time. As a matter of fact, the C38, this is the C38B, has been in our lineup for about 40 years. This is one of the standards in the recording industry. It's been pretty much in every recording studio as one of the microphones that has to be on the shelf. So when you need something to record cymbals, right on to, to a kick drum, the C38 was one that people have gone to for many, many years as a standard. The other microphone that has been a great vocal mic that we have had in our line for probably 15 to 20 years is the C800G. C800G is a very visually distinctive microphone. It's been known for many years by its unique design. This is actually a cooling filter on the back of it because we house a tube inside of this mic. The cooling panel at the back filters the heat out to keep the mic running cool and operating at the right frequency range. It's a very warm, smooth sounding microphone that's been used for an awful lot of uh, recording by vocalists. And more recently, the hip hop, hip hop and rap community has really gravitated toward this mic for the sound quality and the tone quality that you can get from the voice. Uh, it's been used extensively in a lot of major recordings. And believe it or not, for as old as this mic is, it's really become pretty much a classic. So, about every recording studio walking into today is going to have one or two of these on a shelf ready to go. Right in there with Neumann's and a lot of the other great classic tube mics that are available. But it has a certain sound, a certain characteristic that people have heard, are familiar with, they like, and they keep going back to. So, this is the windscreen. There's the diaphragm, the element. mic has a list price. It comes with a separate power supply. The two pieces have a list of around $10,000. Well, it's a true performer. Great studio product. If you're looking to make it your next record and you want it to be a great recording, this would be a good choice. Thanks a lot. Hi, it's Paul Pacino again here at the Sony Pro Audio booth at AES, and uh, we're showing off some of our newest technology in wireless. This is a new digital wireless technology. This is brand new for the industry. This is the first digital wireless system that Sony has developed and come out with, and you're going to pick up a lot of advantages. Number one is the big difference between wireless systems and a hardwired microphone is the companion. Wireless systems normally have to use a companion, and when that happens, you're going to be affecting the actual signal flow and the sound of the performance is not going to be as good as a hardwired microphone. <laughs> Digital wireless is going to be able to eliminate the use of a companion, and with that, that means that you can get the same type of performance that you would normally get out of a wired microphone. With that, that means we have great signal to noise, very low noise floor, great dynamic range, and full frequency response. So if you're looking to get 20 to 20,000 cycles out of a wireless system, and you want a very, very good signal to noise ratio that you'd be able to even record, then this system is what you'd be with. You've been waiting. Now, the first introduction of this digital technology that we're going to be showing is designed more for a broadcast application. Here we have a portable wireless receiver, and this receiver has been designed actually as a two channel receiver channel one and channel two. And with that, it means that you can actually operate two separate transmitters set up on different channels to send a signal back to this portable receiver. The receiver will then, of course, plug in with two separate outputs into the input on the camera microphone. Now, the original design for the first component that we come out with, this one right here, is actually designed to slide right into the slot on one of our XD cam cameras. If you don't have an XD cam camera, but you still want to take advantage of the new digital wireless technology, we also make this adapter. This adapter is basically a bucket that will allow you to slide the receiver into the bucket and then with this mounting system can be mounted right onto the back of the camera just like that. So now you have a two channel receiver mounted onto the back of any camera using a special adapter. Cables come out of the back, one for power, 
the other two for your audio signal going to channel one and channel two on your camera. Now, together with this, what you also need now is a transmitter. And over here, we have our new tiny digital wireless transmitter. This transmitter is small, lightweight. It's going to be perfect for a lot of theatrical applications because they're looking for something very tiny to strap on. It's great for broadcast because you don't want to have anything that's too bulky to wear when you're on air. It will accept a wide range of lavalier microphones that you can use, and we have a broad range, anything from our popular ECM-44 all the way up to our tiny little ECM-88, which is one of our tiniest little lavalier microphones that you can get. Now, this digital transmitter can operate at three different output levels, 1 milliwatt, 10 milliwatt, or 50 milliwatt. So if you're out recording sports and you're outdoors looking at somebody across the, uh, the field, you'd have it set to a higher output level so that you can pick up transmission from this all the way back at your receiver on the camera. So you'd have it set at the highest output of 50 milliwatt. But if you're indoors and you're in a close proximity and you're filming and you want it to have clean reception, but you didn't want to interfere with anybody else operating in the facility, then you can set it down as low as one milliwatt output. So it gives you tiny size, ease of operation, the ability to set your channels and frequency very quickly and easily. And something else that's very convenient is that information that's being transmitted from here to the receiver goes back and forth both ways. So from the receiver, if the cameraman starts to hear interference on the channel that they're operating at, he has the ability from the receiver to actually change the channel on the transmitter and on the receiver so that on the fly, they can actually find an open frequency and not worry about getting stepped on by somebody else's wireless transmission. So for the cameraman being able to do that for someone that's on air, on the fly, is invaluable. It's an incredible feature to have. The other thing that you're going to be looking at is the cameraman when it's plugged into one of our Sony cameras, we'll actually, in his display, be able to see our signal strength coming from the transmitter, also battery life on the transmitter. So he'll be able to monitor the battery and the signal coming from the transmitter without having to go over to it and stop the recording from happening. So you're going to get a lot of information back and forth, which is going to make the whole professional shoot go a lot smoother and make sure that there are no more glitches or problems that crop up that weren't known. <laughs> So between the tiny size, the lightweight, the digital quality transmission, the great dynamic range, and the amount of information that goes back and forth so you can control your shoot, digital wireless is finally coming into its own, and it's going to be a major breakthrough in the whole wireless technology spectrum. So we're pretty excited about bringing this into the marketplace, and this stuff is going to be shipping in early 2008. And that's our digital wireless story brought to you from Sony Pro Audio here at AES this year. Thanks a lot.